Today I'm going to be showing you how I play my version of Your Power by Billie Eilish. So the song is actually pretty simple chord wise. So the chords you use, it's only three chords and they just repeat throughout the whole song. So I, it's an F chord, but I like to use an F9. So how you play that is you have an open G string, open C string, first fret of the E string, and then an open A string. So that's what it should sound like. Then we go to A minor, and A minor is also just a one finger chord. So you put your, you can put your middle finger, I like to use my middle finger, on the second fret of the G string, and then open for the last three bottom strings. So it should sound like this. And then the last chord is E minor. So E minor, you leave the top string open, the G string is open. The C string, you put, put your ring finger on the fourth fret, and then it's kind of this staircase chord. I like to call it a staircase chord. The E string, you have your middle finger on the third fret and your pointer finger is on the second fret of the A string. So that's what it should sound like. Okay, so for this little plucking pattern that I came up with, I'll just play through it once and then I'll show you how to play it. So this is what it'll sound like. simple but it kind of adds just a little bit more depth to the chords that you're playing with the song. So how you play this is you go into that F9 chord progression shape and then you pluck the C string, pluck the E string and then strum and then do an up and down strum, up and down, then put your pinky finger on the third fret of the A string or you can use your ring finger whatever is more comfortable and do an up strum there. So that's going up to that high C which is kind of moving along with the melody of the song. And then after that, we go into the next bar and you start by one rest, and then on the next and, so the half beat after one, you put your finger, you can use whatever finger you're more comfortable with, on the second fret of the A string on an up strum again. So then pluck the open E string, pluck the first fret of the E string, and then pluck the open E string again. So I'll play through those two first bars just to work on like little sections at a time. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So just practice that slowly and I have the tabs up. I, I probably have already showed them by this point. So go into the A minor chord next for this the second half. So you pluck once down on the second fret of the G string in that A minor shape, and then you strum it. And then on the and after three, you strum up once again on that. And then you put your ring finger on the third fret of the E string and you pluck that. And then you put your, you can put your middle finger, which is what I do on the second fret of the C string and you pluck that. And then we go to an E minor chord and the E minor chord comes in on the second beat. So you play that one and two and three and four and. So overall the second half, the second two bars that we play in this pattern goes one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, so all together, I'm gonna play through it slowly with counting and you can try and play along. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and So that's kind of like the main part. And then the second time you play through it, you don't have to play that pluck of the third fret E string and second fret of the C string. You can just go straight to the E minor because I don't know, it kind of adds a little bit if you just do it once in a while here and there. That's what I like to do for the beginning, like the intro and the outro. All right, so for the strumming pattern of the chorus, pluck the C string and the E string. So that goes pluck, pluck, strum. Up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And then the A minor and the E minor chord, I just like to do down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. So I'll play through that slowly. Pluck, pluck, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, A minor, down, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, down. Okay, so for the verse of the song, 
It's really simple. You just play on the two and four down strums. So it sounds like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Yeah, so basically you just play through that. Um, so it's gonna be four down strums on the F9 chord and then two down strums on the A minor and two on the E minor. And then once we get to the pre-chorus, the pre-chorus is very similar to the chorus. I kind of use a similar structure of strumming pattern. And that's kind of that down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. But for that, there's kind of this technique. Um, I strum with my finger and I strum using my fingernail normally. Um, but it depends, and when I play this part of the song, because I want it to be a little bit quieter and a little bit more emotional, I like to strum with like my actual finger, so it's a little bit softer, and kind of like the tip of my finger rather than that harsh strum of my nail. So if you strum like that, it kind of adds more emotion and flowiness almost, which is what I found, and I really like that. So um, I'll do a quick run through of, well, we can go through chorus, verse, and pre-chorus. So let's try this and you can try and play along. And if you want to see the whole song, you can check out my video on my channel because I covered it. Yeah, okay. Try not to abuse your power. I know we didn't choose to change. So that is kind of the run through, the basic. It's not a very complicated song to play because it's just three chords. Honestly, I don't like the thought of a set chord progression. And when I kind of listen to songs and try and figure out the chords to them and come up with strumming patterns, I like to freely do it and just change it up. I just listen to the song and hear the patterns that I hear and just kind of strum based on what I'm hearing rather than having a set strumming pattern. So you don't necessarily need to follow these strumming patterns that I've shown you, but it's just kind of giving a basic structure of how you can do it, but let yourself be free. Let me know if you have any questions about this. I am happy to answer. Like and subscribe if you want to. All right, thanks so much for watching all the way to the end. I hope that I was able to help you learn a little bit about how to play this song, and hopefully you can enjoy your skills of playing ukulele. Goodbye.